Hey, good morning everybody. Uh, I know it's been a while since I posted a video. Just been extremely busy with work lately. Um, so further ado, I think this is one of the question, frequently asked questions that I get all the time. I already answered in multiple different videos and stuff. But I feel like uh, today, I'm literally going to make a video of it and put a title on it. Like, where did I get Odin from? Because I get this question a lot, like, you know. Which breeder did I choose to get this dog from? He's completely soaking wet right now because it's raining outside. We He needs to go for his walk. So, took him for his walk. I dried him out with towel and stuff. But can I get everything? So, he's trying to get himself tired. That's a good boy. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Sorry, guys. Look at this face. How can he not love this face? So further ado, let's do this. So I got Odin from Icer Canines. I will put their link in the description of their website. The cool thing about this breeder, you can literally pick up your phone call and call him and he will answer. He's located in like, you know, Florida, uh, Homestead, Florida, I believe. <clears throat> and he's extremely, extremely genuinely nice individual. Ernesto is his name. Um, you can literally call him and I will try to put his number on the description as well. So you guys can talk to him. Uh, he literally uh, did the repeat breeding of Odin's parents. Ole is his dad and Goldie was his mom. And he literally did the repeat breeding and I think all those puppies are already gone. This is not a sponsor video like, or anything. I don't get anything from it. Um, I do get asked this question a lot. so. And the cool thing about Ernesto, he's down to earth. You can call him, talk to him, ask him all the questions you have. He will not force you to commit to a puppy or anything. Like, you know, he will answer all your questions and stuff, which, which you need to ask and stuff. Um, when you're selecting a puppy, like, you know, let's go from there. Like, for example, like, you know, a lot of people see a dog like Odin. They're like, hey, I want, I want this dog. But before you want a dog of Odin's caliber, you need to look at yourself. Hey, can I handle his energy level? Or do I need a low, uh, dog with a low drive? Like, you know, what your personal like you know, needs are for your dog and what are you going to do with your dog? Like, are you gonna use him in the protection dog? Are you gonna play any sports with it? Or if you just want a dog that's just wants, uh, you want it as a pet to protect your house and all that. <sighs> I know you love me, bro, but I'm trying to do a video here, okay? So, um. Think about your needs and what your goal are with your dog. Are you a runner? Do you want something like you want to have a dog that is companion to help you go running and force you to get off your butt and be outdoors? Yeah, then you want a dog with a high drive because guess what it's going to do? It will change your lifestyle for you. He will make you like, you know, go outdoors, go running, go do all different things because you will see his energy just going to be like, if you don't take him literally outside to run and like burn his energy out, He's going to be running up and down in your house and it will get annoying. In the beginning, it looks all fun and game, but after a while, it just gets too hectic. So the cool thing about Ernesto, he asked me like, what are my like, uh, preferences? What kind of dog am I looking for? Um, put it up, come on, up right here. Um, I told him, look, I need a dog with a high drive because me and my family, we do a lot of hiking and stuff. So. He literally hand selected the puppy that was best suited for my family needs. So you can let him know, hey, I'm looking for a dog that looks as good as like, uh, like you know, looks like a German Shepherd or like these these are my colors that I care about. Like you know, color shouldn't be as important as the health of the dog, first of all. But I know everybody has a color they like. I always wanted as a kid, hey. Personally, I always wanted a dog as dark as Odin or as Black Sable, like, you know, completely. But that wasn't as a big part of my uh, search when I was looking for a dog. For me, it was the health and the temperament. Temperament and health are the most important thing in the dog when you're selecting a dog for your family. If you got little kids, you don't want a dog with, like, crazy temperament or, like, you know, and growling at your kids and stuff, not listening to them. Some dogs can only, they need a literally a strong leader or strong handler to handle these dogs and stop playing with this thing i'm gonna shove it in there you guys didn't see that because that's not yours that's sana's toy and you're always playing with her stuff so 
talk to your breeder like you know you don't have to go by ice or canine and stuff i'm just doing this video because everybody asks me this question where did i get odin from i get it almost like once or twice a day this question on my feeds on the comment section so i felt like i need it's need to do the video with this and um help you guys so you guys can like call him up go to his website sometimes he doesn't update all the puppies available it's better to call him and ask him what he has and what are you looking for and before i lose topic so yeah for example if you're just a person who just wants a dog that with a low drive not a crazy high drive because you just want a german shepherd that looks cool looks cool and stuff and it's been your childhood dream to have a dog like this yeah then go with a dog with a low drive and the, the good breeders will let you know if they have a dog like that or not some breeders are just out there to make money and but good reputable breeders because their reputation is in line like you know they're doing this not just for like to make bucks but like to be in business to have good uh attentions i know he has this thing on because we just came back from walk Oh yeah, he got a new um, Hermic Spring uh, brown collar, and if you guys want me to do a review on this one, please let me know. It's it works wonders. The last one I had it for almost two years, and uh, it was getting too small for him. I decided to get him uh, another one. These are a little pricier than your normal ones, but the cool thing about them, they're not sharp. They are completely dull, and they don't like you know. It's not like the ones you buy from the Walmart or like. Petco and stuff, these are high quality stuff and they're made in Germany. So yeah, uh, ask your breeder all the questions you have. Like, you know, uh, what kind of feed is dog on? Like, you know, is it gonna be okay for the area that I live in? If you live in a hot climate, these dog can adapt to it without any issues, but ask all those questions that you have. Like, you know, how his parents were? Like, you know, how heavy this dog gonna get? Like, you know? Is he going to be too much for me to handle a dog of this caliber? And I hope this video helped you guys. And if you guys have any more questions or any topics you guys want me to cover, I'll do that. The next video is going to be about um, if you have a dog that is a picky eater or doesn't eat as much food as you want him to eat because he's not gaining the weight and stuff. I'll show you what I did with Odin. Like, you know, uh, in summer months, they're, they're very picky what they eat. So that will be the next topic next week. I will be posting that video. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it help you guys. And please share and subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Thank you.